Okay, so this is what we're going to do today. Thank you for chilling with me. Um, I forgot to do a video on this, and I'm so sorry. I have a couple other things over here that I'm supposed to be doing a video on, so it is what it is. Here is the large sign holder. You're going to kind of do the same thing with the mini one, okay? This one kind of holds a sign that's like 12 inches. So this is why I said I wanted to get this set up, and then when we hang this, I want to make sure that this isn't too top heavy for this and it's going to we might have um, have to test this tomorrow because once it's all glued up I don't want it popping off because the weight of this but you'll see that this sign what is this 12 inches yep this is a 12 inch sign so you'll see this holder is pretty high it's gonna hold a 12 inch sign even if you have a different 12 inch sign uh, it'll hold that okay so let's get the glue. I got some new glue here. Hi, Darlene. Yay. Thank you. Hi, Christine. Thank you, Chris. I just got it cut today. Um, so happy. So, um, I recommend gluing first and then painting later. Um, because when you start putting these pieces together, you don't want the, you don't want the base to not fit in here because it's painted. Um, I sprayed mine, the one that I have at the shop, which to me was easy. I just, I had a box upside down. Uh, I had a box up or on its side, set the thing in there and then just sprayed it, turned it around and sprayed it. So, um, you could do that if you want to hand paint it. I think Debbie hand painted hers. So whatever you prefer. Um, tight bond wood glue. Oops. This is a new bottle. I didn't want to put that much on there. Darn it. So it's a little free flow in here. Let me scrape some of this. So with tight bond wood glue, you could put this on here and you can like push it down and lift it up. You want to make it kind of, uh, tacky. It helps adhere it a little bit faster. There's no etched lines on here, so you're just going to line it up, okay? And you can get, um, I have clips. I just got these pink ones from the Dollar Tree. You can get clips here. Um, before the glue is set, sometimes it moves. So you want to make sure that it's where you want it when you clip it. Otherwise, it'll, it'll slide around. So kind of like this, okay? So we're going to leave that and then the next thing that we're going to do is this piece here is a little bit bigger than this one. This goes on here like this. So this is going to be away from here. So you're going to take nothing on the front. It's going to go on the back. So you should have the etched line on the front. I'm just going to take a little dot of glue. and just stick it on there. I'm just gonna leave that to the side. I'm not too worried about that one. Not buying any more wood kits top in the new year. I hear you, girl, you have to finish your shopping yet. I know, thank you, Nanette. I have been sitting on some of these things for too long and uh, if I don't get them done, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, not having attention issues is hard. Okay, so once this is good here, see this right here? Um, this obviously goes into the big slot. This one is at an angle. You'll see that the curved part is up here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this down. You may need to sell your son so you can keep buying from carrying, oh my gosh. You are so funny. Uh, we're not going to lay this down because I fear that this is not going to stick in here right. Hold on. How did I do this? Let me tap into my memory. Um, I think I glued it here so that way it's right where we need it to be. I think that's what it is. And then this one, someone emailed me about the U-shape piece and I was like, I don't know what this lady's talking about. Um, so that's why, one, I wanted to do this video. And two, I knew I had to do it. And now I know U-shaped. I, I was thinking of it like this. 
I didn't think about it like this. So this U-shaped piece is gonna go in here to help lock this in and kind of stabilize the back. So it should look like this, okay? When we get it all lined up. So what we're gonna do is, I think this is good right here. I'm gonna take this off. Yeah, I think that's good. It doesn't matter. Stick this in here. And I don't, so when you put this in here, you don't want it leaning to the front. I want it to kind of be to the back oh, slightly a little bit or straight up. Don't have it leaning. So you're going to have to get this in here, position it right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take glue and just put it on the edge here. Now, I'm not afraid to get glue on my hands, okay? So... I'm just going to put a little bit and then smear it with my hand, but I want to make sure it's in the right. How am I going to do this? Down. We're just going to make it work. We're just going to make it work. The upside down. And I know, right? Thank you, Doris. I couldn't picture it. I was like, what you? I don't have a you. So I'm barely touching the bottle just to squeeze a tiny bit. And then think of it like Elmer's glue, okay? You don't want any on the side. There, so it's gonna kind of look like that, see? And then just have yourself a little napkin right here. Wipe it off. So this is gonna go like this. I'm gonna face it towards me so I can kind of make sure that it's where I want it to be. Um, I'm just eyeballing it, making sure it's like right down the center. I mean, it's fine. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. Just like tiny. I don't want, oopsie. I don't want a big old glob of it. We'll just do that. And then this is going to go on here to hold it in place. And then I'm going to get, I have a pipe cleaner. Get a pipe cleaner, a rubber band, whatever you think whatever you want and uh, hold this together. Actually, I'm going to do it like right here. Cat's running around. I think she wants to go outside. You know, we haven't let her go outside since the whole uh, uh, thing with her uh, abscess and all that. So she'll sit at the window and whine and cry howl. You know how cats howl? Oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, there must be another cat out there. Okay, like this. So you might have to get someone's help if you can't do that. I'm just improvising. Look, just twisting. Rubber band, whatever you think. And I think it's good. This wood glue is really awesome. So uh, I'm not worried about it staying. If you get excited about it and you want to add more, you could probably do a bead like on the side and just run your finger just so it gets in, you know, where the uh, boards come together. Hi, Veronica. Thank you, Kathy. So this is the sign holder, ma'am. We're just putting it together. Now, once this is together, you're going to take your glue and I'm just going to do... A tiny bit that wasn't tiny oops down in the crack here look down in the crack there get in there and then we're going to place it in there it's gonna come out if you put too much oh I didn't do too bad now look at look at how that's standing up so good okay so good if you get if it makes you nervous you could put you know uh, some more on the edge and and run your finger uh, that way it's uh, in the crack there but this is looking good okay so now this one once I want this one to get a little bit a uh, little bit more on there because this one's gonna go up here I put it like um, this one I put like right where this curve is. I think I put it like right here. 
You can put it at the top if you want, but I think I put mine right here. So we're going to put that one right there. Now these ones here, um, I was supposed to do that one next. That's okay. This goes down here like this. You kind of want to do, uh, you kind of want to do the other pieces while it's laying down. So it's not going to pop off, but we're just going to go for it. I'm lining that up, making sure it's together. Like that. Let me get more things here. So you can see that there's an edge here. So one goes right here. Okay. You don't need a lot of glue. Like that might even be too much. But put it on there. Kind of move it around. Take it off. Make it kind of tacky. And then put it back on there. I am going to clip it because I don't want this to fall off. So let's make sure that's where I want it to be. Okay. See so like that. And then it's moving. So we just want to make sure that it's not going to move. Actually, I'm going to lay it down, you guys, because it's making me nervous. We're just going to lay it down like this. And if you get paint or glue outside, you can just wipe it off and make sure it's there. Perfect. Now this one. And the other rounded part. I'm just going to put this one on and laying it down. It's not going to work. This is going to be so cute. If you've seen the other one that I did, um, you want to make sure you close this too. Just push it down and then wipe that off. Um, you need to mess with me with some new pants up like this. Yay. What the... Girl, I chopped my hair. Look at that. Look at how short it is. Nothing. My neck is bare. Look. You can see my neck. Actually, I have a tattoo back there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. I just re realized I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, so funny. <laughs> So like this, you guys, I recommend don't standing it up, lay it down, you know, let gravity do its thing. Tomorrow it'll be so perfect and tight. Nothing will come off. I'm going to leave this on here just to make sure it's all held together. So this is what the back should look like. Okay. It's glued in. Start with the base. You could start with the base and then start with the pieces up here. So it's all nice and flat. And then when you get to uh, this point, you can, you know, I just put the glue on this uh, piece here, put the glue on there so it holds it all together like this, okay? And the sign, let me get this. Let's do what? What? Come here, you want to say hi? Lainey. What is the matter with you? Now, when you're doing your signs and you're going to hang it up, I would do one side and then kind of measure. Let me take this off so I don't make it fly off and, you know, kill it. You want to say, okay, I want my sign to hang right here. So I'm going to need a hanger that looks like that. Okay. So 
you're going to want to measure it depending on how big your sign is. Maybe you have a 14 inch sign. So I want my hanger to be like that. So I'm going to go like that right here. And then I'm just going to cut a little bit extra and know that I'm going to tie it off right there where I was holding it. Now there is a mini one. It has a little bit of a different piece to it uh, for the hanging the sign and all that, but you guys are pretty smart, so uh, you'll figure it out. You just put it together. The concept is the same. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna have you know your your base, your stand. Um, I'm not gonna fully hang this on here because I don't want it to. Uh, rip that piece off but this is what it's gonna look like okay 